Okay, we're going to go back and loosen them a little bit. Okay, we're going to loosen it up here and here and here. Just like this. Just like this. And then also these. Just like this. Uh, slightly like that. Makes it really loose. If you slide this on here, it puts the coils and the laminates in perfect position. But unfortunately, if you don't have this, okay, and I, I forgot how much he charges, but uh, it's extremely reasonable. And let me tell you what, it makes doing this so much easier. And if you're going to do your own work, I would highly advise uh, you uh, contacting them and getting one. I mean, it's extremely reasonable. It's even better than the, the ones that they, they got from the manufacturer and way cheaper. So anyway, uh, to do it, you can certainly use a straight edge just like this, okay? If you can see what I'm doing. I'm going to pull this back a little bit. You use a straight edge along with the boss, okay? Just like this, okay? And you, you want to make sure that it's in position. And that you can tighten it with this heel. You just want to tighten it a little bit, okay? And then you can go over here in the corner right here and you can use this straight edge and you push it up against it just like this all right and you can tighten this one as well okay and by doing that and lining up the coil you help prevent the uh, laminates from rubbing up against the flywheel and causing damage to the uh, to the magnet okay you don't want to tighten it up all the way you just want to, you want it to get it nice and snug. I'm going to do that here as well. Okay. And I'm going to do these as well. Put the straight edge up against it. But I'll tell you what, the coil retaining ring, uh, I mean, excuse me, yeah, the laminate uh, and that little ring made by uh, Frank Robb is invaluable. I cannot state that enough. Sometimes it's a bit of a, a, a bit of a hassle to try to get everything um, adjusted and that, that little ring just does the trick. I'm just going to put the little ring back on top just to see if uh, everything's lined up. That's why I say that you know it takes a little bit of working the other one to go back and forth slightly to uh, to you know to do stuff and this little ring just makes everything worthwhile. But for time pur uh, time purposes, I'm going to use this ring a little bit to help guide a little bit easier, okay, and to make it uh, a little bit uh, quicker. But again, you can use the straight edge and you can adjust it, okay. All right. I forgot what I paid for it, but I'll tell you what, it was, uh, it was nothing. Uh, prob uh, probably uh, under a 20, but I'm not sure. You'd have to talk to Frank about that. Everything up here. Make sure these are tightened. I don't like those coils moving. Excuse me, the laminates. Okay. And just to double check, again, we use the little straight edge here against the. Uh, and that looks good. That looks good. That looks good. That looks good. So great. So now what we're going to do is we're going to set the points. Okay. What you're going to need is you're going to need a feeler gauge. 
okay? Just like this. Uh, I think it was like maybe five or six bucks, maybe even a little bit more, depending on where you're going. And we're going to measure right here to point zero two inches, okay? Point zero two inches. Now, how many millimeters or centimeters it is, I'm not sure, but uh, here, point zero, uh, point zero two zero, okay? And I'm going to make sure that this is nice and clean. Okay, I'm going to take a nice clean towel. I'm going to make sure there's no lid or anything. And I'm going to wipe this clean because I don't want any oil in be uh, to going in between there. Okay, at this point, we're going to take our flywheel nut. We're going to put it on top. Okay, we're going to use this. Okay. And we're going to turn. We're going to use this to turn the flywheel. What we want to do is we want to take the high point of the cam. Remember we were talking about the little word labeled top, okay? And they have that little piece, that little arrow right up in here, okay? And that little arrow is right there. And that's where my point shoes are at, exactly right there. And as you notice when I did that, I don't know if you can see, but you notice when I did that, the points opened up slightly okay I don't know if you can see it the points opened up slightly okay and so uh, that's what it's supposed to do so but I want to verify the gap of those points so I'm gonna take this remember point uh, point two zero okay it slides uh, through there pretty pretty easy so all I what I'm gonna do here is I'm gonna slightly loosen the anchor screw okay I'm going to slightly loosen the anchor screw, okay? The reason why I want to do that oh, It's giving me a little more trouble than I thought Okay, there we go I'm going to slightly, all I want to uh, loosen it and all I want is slightly snug because I want to be able to move this little screw right here This is the adjustment screw I want to move that, so I'm going to have to, hold on, I'm going to have to bring this around again like this, because I offset my uh, the top point of my cam. There we go. I want to uh, be able to put that feeler gauge through there, okay? And I want, to I want it to slide, but only with slight resistance. So I'll adjust it out a little bit, okay, just like this, and I'm going to uh, see how I opened it up like this. I opened it like this back and forth, okay, and then I'm going to slightly adjust it until I feel a little bit of rubbing, just slight rubbing, okay. At that point, what I want to do is I want to tighten this anchor screw down, okay. Okay, I'm just feeling some little bit of rubbing, not much, just back and forth. Okay, and I'm gonna I'm make sure this is nice and tight so it doesn't wander. Okay, good. So I'm gonna go on to my second set of points, and I'm gonna do the same thing. I'm gonna take my ratchet and I'm gonna bring it the high point of the cam over on this side, all the way around, just like we did just a while ago, where I had the top of the cam right here near the little point shoes where that little arrow's at and I'm going to uh, do the same thing I'm going to adjust it okay so for this I'm gonna go ahead and loosen up that anchor screw okay I'm gonna take my feeler gauge here's the adjustment screw I'm gonna open it up a little bit second make sure everybody can see everything I'm gonna open up a little bit there we go take this off for a second 